Okay, here's everything that happened in medicine and healthcare between September 29th and October 3rd, part two. Finishing off with Wednesday, we saw a Quebec study that looked at individuals who were born preterm and they noticed that these individuals were less likely to graduate high school or attend undergraduate degree. However, the study did significantly note that it was more likely to be due to family and social history than it was actually due to the fact that they were born preterm, but it was a factor nonetheless. Wednesday also started the Breast Cancer Awareness Month for the 40th year. And now we have it where over 500,000 lives have been saved and the actual survival for the five year rate has jumped from about 60 to 70% all the way up to 90% now thanks to the advancements in cancer treatments. If you wanna stay up to date with the latest medical and healthcare news, you can find the link in my bio to my Substack where you can get up to date daily notifications as well as all the links to the information that we're talking about or some ways to help support the page as a medical student, I would appreciate it. Lastly, we had a study when it comes to looking at the imaging of individuals' brains, and they found that those who had significantly less sleep or poor quality sleep actually had advanced aging in their brain compared to their actual age. And lastly, on Friday, a big breakthrough when it came to transplant surgery, where they took a transplanted organ and tried to remove it of all of its antigens that are specific to a specific blood type. It lasted for a few days, but it eventually reverted back, but it is a new frontier that they're going to be planning on experiencing and exploring in the future.